Business is booming during the pandemic for plastic surgeons, and there's one certain procedure lots of women are going in for. In tonight's original report, KPI X5's Julia Goodrich on why more and more women are deciding less is more. For a growing number of women, when it comes to implants, it's a cultural shift to when less is more. Bay Area doctors are seeing a big difference in what women want and the surprising reasons they want it now. The pandemic might have dealt a big blow to some elective surgeries, but certainly not to all. The actual demand for plastic surgery increased to levels that I would never have believed. Dr. Carolyn Chang is one of the Bay Area's premier plastic surgeons. For the past few years, and yes, even during the pandemic, she's seen a growing demand for a certain kind of surgical procedure. It's called an explant. Well, I've noticed an increased desire for women to have their implants removed. I've had a, a much larger number of people asking for explantations than ever before. Women like Becky. I feel so much lighter. A woman will call Sonia. Dr. Chang is the only one that listened to me. And Michelle. I was very adamant about how I wanted to look and that I wanted to always look natural. The FDA recommends replacing implants every 10 years. Now more women are replacing them with a smaller size or with nothing at all. Yeah, I think I'm at a point where I'm like, I don't want to be that um, like over sexualized. You know, I'm a mom. Becky decided not to replace hers. You know, just feel like so much weight has been lifted off. Um, I just feels easier to move. My back doesn't hurt anymore. During this surgery at Sutter Health's CPMC Davies campus, KPIX5 watched as Dr. Chang removed Sonia's implants. It's not because the mother of two hated them. I still love the way they look. If I had no problems, I would absolutely 100% keep them in. Five months after Sonia got implants, she began to experience back and leg pain as well as headaches. Specialists could find no explanation for her problems. Walking up the stairs takes me 10 minutes. Like it's, and I'm only 45, I shouldn't be living like that. Sonia wondered if her implants played a role. While there's no guarantee she'll feel better, she asked Dr. Chang to remove them. It's a matter of choice. It's a choice to put them in. It's a choice to take them out. It can be a very positive experience on both ends. As for Michelle, the pandemic was the right time to replace her implants with some new ones. For starters, she had lots of downtime. You know, it actually worked out to be perfect. We didn't have any plans, and I knew that I would have time to recover. She prefers to go small. She told KPIX5 how in the past she's been pressured to go Barbie doll big. Sometimes a man will look at it and say, oh, you're tall, you could do go bigger and I really kind of had to almost fight to make sure that I got what I wanted the first time. People are more confident and they have been um, looking at this time as a time for self-improvement and plastic surgery is part of that. Not only that, Dr. Chang says when performed safely and according to strict guidelines, there is no extra risk of contracting COVID with explant surgery. As far as personal exposure and exposure to patients, I think it's a very controlled environment. Another reason the pandemic may be fueling a boom, more disposable income with fewer extravagant vacations. Now, Julia, do we have any idea how many X plants were actually done last year? You know, not yet. We'll get those numbers in the spring, but the American Society of Plastic Surgeons told us 64% of its doctors saw a boost in cosmetic surgery Zoom visits since the start of the pandemic. All right, Julia, thank you.